In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a quick rain effect in Blender, like what we see in this scene. And we'll create it in a simple way, using the particle system, you can do it in just one minute. So let's take a scene like this, which is created using an HDRI, there are no real objects in this scene, it's just an environment texture, and the shader no tree is here. You can download this free HDRI from the link given below, you can also add your own objects, or you can use any other scene similar to this, we are taking this scene just as an example, and our camera view looks like this. Now we will add here some raindrops using the particle system, so let's go to the solid view mode. First we need to add here a simple plane, and we need to enlarge it sufficiently, so that the plane covers the entire length of this camera view. Let's resize it by say 20, and we need to also move it up, so that the plane is barely visible in the camera view. It should stay somewhere above the camera, and we'll also rotate the plane around the z-axis, in order to make it parallel to the camera, although it does not matter a lot. We can also move it along this x-axis, so that it stays in the middle of the camera view. It's okay if the plane is partially visible within the camera, later we'll hide this plane from the output. So the scene is set up like this, our camera is right here, and the plane will act as the source object, will emit the raindrops or the particles from this plane, and the camera will capture it from this angle. So let's select the plane, and then go to this Particles tab. Then click on the plus button, it will add here a new particle system. Now under the emission section, we need to increase the number of particles to say 5000s, or maybe even more. The other fields are mostly okay, but you can change this end frame number, it should match with the end frame of your scene, the rain will then continue till the end, otherwise it will stop early. So let's change this to 250 for this composition. And you may also need to change this lifetime value, it determines the lifetime for each of the particles or the drops, they will easily cross the camera view within 50 frames, otherwise you can also increase this lifetime, if you need to. Now in the camera view, we want the raindrops to fall vertically down, so in the particle settings, let's minimize these sections, and under velocity, we'll use the normal direction, which is already set as the default option. Now, if we run this animation, we'll see numerous particles falling down, will convert them into actual raindrops in the next step. So go to the first frame, and from the add menu, let's add an icosphere. It will become our raindrop, so go to the object properties, and reduce its thickness to say 0.25, and the z dimension can be 4. It will create an illusion of a falling particle or a raindrop. Now we'll create a suitable material for this raindrop, but let's first enable the shade smooth option. Then go to the materials tab, and create a new material. For the base color, we can select a light shade of blue, or sky color. And we'll change the roughness to 0.05. Then, under transmission, we'll change the transmission weight to 1, to make it transparent. We need to change this blend mode to alpha blend, and we'll also avoid any kind of shadow from the raindrops. Now we'll use this raindrop model, in place of our particles, so go to the particles tab and minimize this. Then, under this render as in the render section, we have to select the object option, and finally under the model object, we'll select our icosphere or the raindrop model. And we'll disable this show emitter option, so Blender will skip this source object during the render, it won't be visible, only the raindrops will show up in the output. But depending upon your HDRI, or your scene lights, it might look a bit dark. So we need to increase the lighting in our scene. And we can do that by splitting the world shader into two background nodes like this. We are mixing them using a mix shader, and this mix factor is controlled by the camera ray output of a light path node. We will increase the strength of this node, maybe to 4, which will give us a brighter lighting for the raindrops, but we don't need to show this model object itself in the actual output, so we can hide it in the viewport and in the render. Now we are ready to verify this animation, so if we run it, we'll get a raindrop-like view from the particles. Our rain is finally ready, and once rendered, we'll get a result like this. You can also customize it in many different ways, like you can increase the number of particles to create a heavy rain. Or let's say we want the rain to fall in an angle, like this. We know that this is our negative y-axis and this is the z-axis. So in the scene tab, under gravity, we have to first add a gravity in the y direction, to create an artificial gravity in the desired angle, let's say we make it minus 4. Now the modified gravity force will work in this way. But we have to also rotate this source plane accordingly. So go to the object properties, and change the x-rotation angle in the negative. 
Let's make it minus 15, but as we rotate it, we need to also ensure that the particles are emitted in the right direction. So we will enable this rotation option, and under this, we have to change this orientation field to object X, since we have rotated the source plane around the X axis. Now the raindrops will fall in the desired angle, and their orientation is also correct, so everything looks perfect. However, we can slightly change their size for a better appearance, so in the object properties, we'll make them slightly thinner, say 0.15, and we'll also change the Z scale to say 3.5. They might appear very faint in the viewport, but no worries, it will render just perfect. And if we have any other objects in the scene like a ground plane, the raindrop should not pass through those objects. So in the particle settings, we need to come down to the physics section, and then under deflection, we have to enable this option called, die on hit. Now the raindrops will disappear as they fall on the ground, or on any other objects. So before you render the scene, you can change any other parameters as you like. For example, if you want more raindrops, you can change here the number of particles, let's say we make it 15 thousands. Now, once these changes are final, we should bake the particle physics, using bake all dynamics. Then we can render the scene, and get a result like this with a nice rain added to our original composition. If you want this rain to interact with a water body like a lake, please follow the link given below. So I hope you like this, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.